What is up? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Back with some Code Veronica gameplay for you. If me recently released some videos of what I would like to see remade, obviously my personal number one would be Resident Evil Code Veronica. Which I've said in the past, if all the major Resident Evil titles, this is the one I probably have the least liking to. I still like it. It's a um, great game. And isn't that kind of crazy? I still think it's a great game, but it's probably the least of my favorite. So that lets you know how much I feel about the Resident Evil franchise as a whole. But I think what I look at is, is most of my biggest problems I've always had with Code Veronica are not gameplay mechanics. They're just story mechanics. And I think some of you can probably guess where I'm going with it sometime. But there might be a few things on here that, you know, I'm not going to be going with in a way that you might think of. Because some of these things I have a problem with have never been something I've ever heard anyone really mention or bring up. Or at least in my knowledge. But they're probably somewhere on the earth. But anyway, as I said, Code Veronica... It, of any Resident Evil game that needs a remake, it's the number one title that needs a remake. It just does. I mean, it's the one that needs it. It deserves it. Because as I said, it's a very weird title. Because there is a great following of people who love this game. Some people call it their favorite Resident Evil game to this day. And then there's some people who just pretend it doesn't exist. It's a it's a weird game. It's just, it's like, it's on those vibes of Resident Evil Nemesis. Where it's like, it's there, but it's just... It's just kind of like, I think the best way I can explain it is it's kind of like in Batman movies, you always hear people talk about, you know, the Dark Knight or the latest The Batman, um, as or Batman 89 as some of the, of, of the best of the best of the Batman movies, and then you hear the, the bad ones that people don't like, like Batman and Robin or Batman Forever, even though I always have a soft spot for Batman Forever because it was my first ever Batman movie I ever saw, but like... One of the movies you never hear them talk about is like Batman Returns. It's like you never hear people say it's good or it's bad. It's like they just pretend it doesn't exist. And Code of Veronica will be the Batman Returns of Resident Evil games. It's just like it's there. But without further ado, let's let's get right into it. Um, if they are going to remake Code of Veronica, you know, and I honestly think they should. It's, it's too important of an entry because, as I said before, and a lot of people have mentioned. You can't have other the remakes. Especially they want to do Resident Evil 5 remakes, which I have a good feeling they will. It's just not going to have as important of impact if you don't have this important chapter there, especially for the whole Wesker setup. And I really think you could give players a very good idea, of, especially new players, of who Wesker is. I know it'd be great if you could have Resident Evil 1, but as I said before, if I get one remake... Um, before 5, it'd definitely be Code Veronica, but you could really set a whole really personalized Wesker rivalry, not just with Chris, but Claire as well, because, you know, get all the red fields, but showcase what makes Wesker such a menacing villain. And with the way they have a more grounded approach in these remakes, I really think you can really do a great job of emphasizing how terrifying Wesker is. And one thing I personally like to see if they do remake it is have, have an actual Wesker boss fight, like... Imagine that was the actual final boss fight instead of the cutscene in the game. Because that's one thing I've never been a big fan of. Is a lot of the segments that should be cool, they're just regulated to cutscenes. You know, when you have, you know, Wesker and Alexia going at each other, it's just a cutscene. Or, you know, the cutscene with Chris and um, Wesker at the end. Honestly, I would like to just have a few Wesker encounters and maybe they can kind of do him like. Kind of like how they do, do like a stalker theme where like he comes in and you can't beat him. You know, like whether you're playing as Claire or Chris, he comes in and you, you got to get the hell out of there. You got to get the hell out of Dodge. And at the end, I would have Chris and Claire fight him as a final boss, not just Chris in a cutscene. I think that'd be a lot cool and shit. And just to, just to showcase how terrifying and how overpowered he is, this is a perfect setup for Resident Evil 5. But alas, enough with Wesker. I think the biggest problem I've always had with Kovaranga is just the character interactions. Obviously, we know the obvious one with Steve, and I think Steve can be a good character, but I get what they're trying to do with in this game, but the problem with Steve is he's just, he's really awkward, just really weird. Like, he like he doesn't act his age. He really acts like a 11 or 12 year old in like a young adult's body. Like, he's just, and I get it, he's not, he's not old he's still young but he just acts way too young just the way he comes across and really just naggy and whiny and i kind of think it affects claire in a bad way because claire for as gung-ho and as impactful as he was when she started this game you're running into the umbrella facility by herself you know gung's blazing i think um that steve has a really bad impact on claire because she just comes across as kind of like really 
weak and timid. As soon as Steve gets in the picture, he gets all whiny. And it's just like, this isn't the Claire I remember from Resident Evil 2. I just feel like Code Veronica Claire is not as cool and badass. She starts off cool and badass, but she doesn't end as cool as badass. And I just feel like it's the Steve effect. It just kind of affects her in a bad way. Like, I get trying to, you know, care about somebody, but she just comes off a little bit too whiny for someone she just met. It doesn't come across as, like, cool and genuine as, like, her um, her bond with, like, Leon or Sherry. I just feel like they can really do that a lot better than what they did in Code Veronica. Um, the Claire's a cool character, and I want to see her showing cool character, but just I just feel like Steve kind of brings out the worst in her. I know some people might not like that take, and I don't hate the Claire Code Veronica. It's quite the contrary. I just feel like Whenever it involves Steve, it just doesn't bring out the best in Claire. It's kind of like how um, when Claire was taking care of Sherry, it just showed how cool Claire is. But nonetheless, I just hope that whole interaction done a little better. But here's where I get with my, my big one. Because this is one I've never heard anyone over say. I always hear Steve, oh, he's, he's the worst character. Steve, as annoying as he is, he is not the worst offender in this game. Not even close. Because the one character who I'd never hear anybody crap talk against. And now I'm not saying he can't work. He can work, but they've got to rework him. Because he's the one character who I always question more than any other character. How is he in a Resident Evil game? How is this guy in a Resident Evil game? Because he doesn't feel like a character that belongs in a Resident Evil game. And that is none other than Alfred. And he is just... <laughs> I mean, honestly, I was thinking about it, and I was just like, I, like, what is it about him that like really gets me a nerve? And, and I guess a better question is, what what does he do that makes me even like like him at all? And that's a better question because I don't know if there's anything like he comes across. He has, he's got that goofy ass laugh. He's got he's running around, um, you know. Obviously, he's cross dressing. I don't know if that's gonna go over too well in today's standards, but even back then, it was just weird. Like it's just. Um, just a weird mechanic, and he's run around changing his outfit, pretending to be his sister, and then pretending to be him, running around taking pot shots with a rifle like an asshole. But he just, he feels like, honestly, he just, he feels like a Borderlands character. He feels like a character, the way he goes about it, and uh, he feels like some character that would be in a Borderlands game, not in a Resident Evil game. He, he's so out of place, and I, as I said, there's nothing a rework you can't do, but just, you can have a crazy character, but he, he wasn't a crazy character. He was just something, something else completely. It's just really out of place. I know a lot of people like to say that the um, main villain from Resident Evil Zero feels like a Final fantasy S character, but that feels way more in place than, you know, Alpha in this game. He is just, he's a fruit. Like, he's all over the damn place, and... It's just like between him and his sister, it's like it's night and day. I mean, it is just, it is night and day. Like I, I feel like he had to have been adopted <laughs> with the way he goes about it. But um, and I get it; they're trying to build up the infatuation he has with his sister and doing everything for. I get that, but there's just you know, I always use this um, expression: um, the operation was a success, but the patient still died. That's just the best way I can sum up with him. But he definitely could use a huge reworking. And there's obviously other things you can do, as I said. You can, um, I, I feel like, once again, I guess it's a gameplay thing. Don't have that whole gameplay mechanic when you switch over between Claire and Chris. Especially if you're a first-time player. It could be a beginner's trap where if the items you have on is one character, if you don't have them in the item box, they can F you. Especially if you switch over to the other character, especially when you're playing for the first time. But, as I said, a lot of my things are not gameplay mechanics. We know the gameplay can be a lot better we know they can do a lot better they can do the environment they can add to a lot of things but i was just going through, through more the story and the characters because that was that's the biggest thing that affects me it's just it's like it's just it's weird they have the the atmosphere the environment is just perfect but the characters are just weird now obviously you know you got steve here as i think he brings claire down you got obviously alfred who i said he's probably the most out of place character in a resident evil game and, and granted there's been some weird characters but he's just number one for me i, I still to this day I don't know why people don't see that they always talk to him like he's like some great villain i'm like yeah <laughs> i don't think so but nonetheless my honest opinion what we see what they're doing with resident evil 4 remake i just honestly feel like they can really do this game so well and it'd be an important part like they need to have this title 
because if you want five to be good you got to have at least this i get it you know if you don't want to go back to one again because you've already made one i get it and i still say this day you can go back and play one it still looks great to this day but code veronica needs it come on it needs it it deserves it it's not just oh it's a non-number title it's an important title all right come on now like we we got we can't just pretend it doesn't exist. I, I don't know what Capcom is so anal and weird about this game. I mean, they're weirder about this game than Alfred is in this game. So that's just that's saying something. But it, it's like we we need it. Like honestly, we need it, and it deserves it. it. It's a very important game, and they can do so much with it. I just hope they can really. Um, as you see what they're doing in Resident Evil 4 Remake, how they're going really character driven. I hope they can do that with a lot of characters in this game. Not just the, the important characters like Claire, you know, Chris, and Wesker, but obviously the the brother and sister duo. And as well as some other thing, like the whole Nosferatu. I always thought that was cool in this game. And just the whole setting, just on the base and in, in Antarctica. Code Veronica definitely can be really great in a remake, and I hope one of these days Capcom will will actually do it. And but unfortunately, it just seems like they only want to do the number titles, and unfortunately, Code Veronica is not a number title. Which I don't know why it's to this day. It seems like that's what why it's held against it for this entire time because it just doesn't make any sense. Um, but that is what I believe. That is what I think, and hopefully. One of these days, one of these announcements can be a Code Veronica remake, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm, you know, hopefully optimistic, but it, it just seems like it's not going to happen. But if it does happen, I'll definitely be happy. But let me know what you think. Do you think they can't do a five remake unless they do this? Because I just feel like, like they can do a Resident Evil Five remake. It just won't be as impactful. Like if you're an OG player, then yeah, you know stuff. But not everyone's an OG player, and how are you going to attract new fans? It's going to be confused. And as I said before, you know, some of these people don't even know, like, who. I know it's sad to say, but they don't know who Wesker is. And they want to see, like, what makes Wesker such a menace and a threat. And they want to see, you know, more content of what happens with Claire and Chris. Also, you built up the Redfield searching for each other in the remake. You got to have them reunite in, the re in another remake. Because new players, they never saw this old one. So you got to have that reunion. But that that is going to be it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. And hopefully I can see you guys back in the next one. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the rest of your day. And I hope to see you all later. Peace.